Hello my beautiful angel fellows, welcome to Miss Hungry Panda. Today I will be showing you my free apartment that I got with the EPIC program here in South Korea in Busan. So with the EPIC program you do get an apartment that they cover but also you can get your own place and they could give you 400,000 won which is about $400 per month if you do opt to get your own place. But I opt to get my school to find my home for me but I've been here for a year and my contract is up and I renewed, meaning I was also placed at a new school. So I'm moving and I thought I would do a little, you know, empty apartment tour thing for you. Disclosure, these apartments, yes, they are free of rent, but you do have to pay the bills that come with it. So if you are like an office tell, which I am, the bills can tend to be a little bit more just because there's more maintenance fees and other fees that you do have to pay for compared to just a, like a villa kind of situation. But anyways, if you haven't already, like, subscribe, and I hope you enjoy the video. Shmow. Welcome to my empty house tour. This is my corridor. This is Mr. Panda Ficus. What a little cutie. What a little cutie. And then, here in Korea, they have this little thing. They're all different, but it's a little keypad. You just wipe it open, and you can put your, um, you can put your code in. It's better so you don't lose your key. Very convenient. So you put in your code. And then voila! There you go. So my home, I do need to pull it up to lock it. Most places you could just leave it and it does it by itself. There's a double lock feature as well. So you could make sure you're very safe. And then if you want to open it, you switch it open and you are free. Most little beginning places has a little area to take off your shoes as such. Well, Asian household. I'm usually taking off my shoes at home, but I've never put slippers on. I'm gonna do this for the aesthetic of my little doggy slippers. So, you first walk in, there is one closet and two big closets right here. The first one, you just have space. I wasn't really sure how to use this, like hang something in between maybe, but it's good. The other side, I put my shoes, any kind of like bags I had over here, and that's this. The other closet looked something like this. Doo -doo -doo. So I hung up all my clothes right there. You had little cubbies, and you had extra oh, light. So you can hang up stuff over there, you can hang up extra stuff over here, some cubbies, and little drawers. It was actually a good amount of storage. I was very, very happy. And then you move on. You have storage above over here, and you had your fridge. I'm very lucky. It's actually a bigger fridge than most places I've seen. I don't want to open it. It is empty, but um, I've left the freezer open and a lot of chocolate ice cream melted and it's kind of, well, chocolate ice cream is a little nasty. So anyways, there's that. And now, da -da -da, we come into my living space, my kitchen, my crafts area, just everything. So let's start from the beginning. So here is my hallway. That's where we entered. And basically it's just one really big circle, room, square thing. I don't know why I said circle, but everything you see here is what I was given by the school. I am very thankful for all the stuff I didn't carry it. So first things first, my school gave me a desk and two chairs. They gave me this little TV stand desk thing. I don't know, drawer. A really nice tea. Very thankful for that. It came with this bed. And the best part, it had three drawers at the bottom, so it had extra storage as well. That was really, really helpful. And then, this vacuum cleaner with all the fixings as well. Do, 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 like that. This mirror. Like that. Very, very nice. And then this couch. So this couch is a little dingy. I put a blanket over it to make it look better. This part actually opens out into a bed, so if anyone wants to come visit, it was really, really helpful for that way. And then, beside the bed, 
we have this little closet area. So this is where I put my suitcases. Also my drying racks as well, which the school did provide as well. And then the water hero heater, the AC. So just very convenient to put my suitcases away. Now, now, you might ask, what is this bad boy? Where's the kitchen? Well, let me show you. Boom, right there. <laughs> so the kitchen is behind these closet doors. Very convenient. It's small, but it got the job done. So in Korea, they don't have like dishwashers and stuff and no drying machine. So this is just a washing machine. It kind of takes place of the dishwasher. And then I had two gas stoves. I love gas stoves, so that was very good. Thing about Korea as well, they have this little tab thing. This turns on the gas to turn on the stove. So all you have to do is boop. And then, oh yeah, oh yeah, just like that. And then don't forget to turn it on. We don't need any hazards. The school also provided these three items, actually technically four, although that's been broken since I've got here. It's been so lazy to change the batteries. The microwave, kettle, and then the toaster is all provided by the school. Also, the school did give me this toaster oven as well. It wasn't working, so I, I couldn't use it, but they did have it. I got an air fryer for myself to use in place of it, but this is also extra storage, cutlery, random stuff, and more storage. So I honestly feel just underneath the sink area was pretty good. I was really happy with it. And then there's more storage over here for my mugs. There's more storage over here for my mugs and such. And this one doesn't stay open. Oh, it does. Never mind. And then there's this one. So the top also had a good amount of storage. So realistically, I was able to keep a lot of stuff, which also <laughs> helped me keep a lot of things I didn't need. There's a bit of storage here as well, but it's just mainly for the fan. It was pretty dirty before, so I just didn't bother putting anything there. But yeah, let's close that thing up. These little hooks came with the building or with the room, and it was so helpful to put up like utensils, big spoons, ladles and stuff, so... Yeah, so this is my little kitchen. Da -da. Beautiful. My favorite aspect of everything is this view. I'm very thankful. Just like, look how beautiful. And right over that mountain is where you can see the sunset just before going to bed, or I mean my evening nap. <laughs> but. loved it also in korea you have this little bad boy so this is the telecom that i could call the security guard at the bottom if i needed help with anything and then i also could see who is like buzzing at my door so it shows up a little picture of their face very helpful and these bad boys this is just my switch lights da -da -da. And this is something that is completely different from back home. It's called the Ondel system. So this actually, turn it on, doop, and that's going to be the temperature that your room will get to. You could adjust the temperatures over here. I honestly haven't really messed around with it too much. I just turned it on and off. If I really needed to, I would adjust it a little bit, but nothing too crazy. This also just heats up your water in your shower. So if you want your shower to work, you would need to turn this bad boy on. And also the Ondel system, Fun fact, this turns on the heater for the water. It also heats up the floors. So the heater heats up the floors, there's water pipes underneath, so the heat rises from the floor up. It's not just everywhere. And the reason why these are two different colors, this and this, this is a new Ondo system because my water heater did break before, or boiler, I'm not really sure what it's called. So they got a new system, that's why it looks all fancy and new. And then this little thing in the bottom over here, or this little thing in the corner, is our AC. You just turn that bad boy on with this one. Got a little remote like this. All you press is this. 
And then the little flap opens. The AC turns on like that. And the last thing of this tour, this very quick tour, is the washroom. So I got very lucky because I have more of a western size washroom. I don't have a wet bathroom. So, hello. <laughs> I also have a lot, this huge mirror, which is very, very nice. I have this storage right over here too. It's just full of like band-aids and stuff like that. I have this toilet and it has this bidet. And bidets are a blessing. They're so amazing. But the person who lived here before me told me that the breaker kind of gets really finicky if you plug that in with this socket. So she said it's better not to have that just to keep it safe. Unless you want to try it and you know how to fix it, go ahead. But I didn't want to bother with it. And then over here, we have our shower. It was completely closed. Like you could actually just fully, fully close the door like this. And then inside you have this little system, just regular, but I didn't change this for a while, but this is a water filter. You could change it every three months and it's been like two and a half. So you can see how dark and dirty it does get. We put the water filter in to filter out any like harsh chemicals or calcium I've heard. It just helps with not losing your hair and itchiness and irritation. But yeah, that's the washroom. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoy this little very quick apartment tour that I lived in for the past year. Made a little home out of it, absolutely enjoyed it. It is just big, one big square, but it was my big square. And yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!